Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I think this is going to be a good one because I love this topic. So the question is, how do I find that career that I love? How do I find my passion? I recently got this question asked today in a comment section on my latest video and I love this question and I want to answer this question for this person and for everyone that's asking this question because we always ask this million dollar question. How do I find my passion? How do I find that thing that I love? And the scientist that I am in my own little bubble, the philosopher that I am in my own little bubble, I feel I have the answer that if you really dig down and think about how or what I'm saying, you'll find out that it is true and this can really help you out in really putting things in perspective and helping you ask or answer this question. How do I find my passion? How do I find that thing that I love? All right. First and foremost, what you don't realize is the question that you're asking, how do I find my passion? How do I find the thing that I love? is what you're really asking is this, how do I make a move without failing? How do I make a move without any mishaps? How do I actually get started in this journey of life in a perfect situation every single day, week after week, month after month, year after year? How do I get started, Mike? How do I make a move, get going, and not have any failures? I want to be able to enjoy the thing that I'm doing and live happily ever after, right? That's actually what you're asking, but you don't realize it. And the answer to that question of how do I actually make a move in life without actually having to pivot or make a change or realize that that wasn't the thing, or that didn't work out, or I really didn't want to do that, that will never happen. That's an impossible task in life, right? If you put your scientist hat on, your philosopher hat on, no one in this world has ever gone and taken a step in a direction and never had to pivot, never changed their mind, never failed, never did anything. Once you realize that light bulb goes off, you'll start to open up. Okay. Let me, let me hear more, Mike. Let me hear more. I, I'm with you. All right. So once you realize that you're asking, how do I make a step? How do I go forward without making any mistakes and being, being incorrect, you know, in this journey, right? Once you realize that's the question you're asking and the answer to that is nobody has ever been able to do that. Now you go, okay, we're all in the same playing field. Let me hear more. All right. So I love this question and I'm going to go in different directions, but stay with me. The reason why I love this question, because I, I think of this plane as three points, one, two, and three. This point here is the person that never asked this question. I love this question of how do I find this passion? How do I find my love that, you know, this, my passion, how do I find the, the love, you know, um, the things that I love, my dream job or whatever, my dream career. That means you're curious and successful people like the Elon Musk, which I'll get to him in a second, and the Mark Zuckerberg and anybody that you think is successful in this world, Bill, I mean, Barack Obama, whoever, I'm just trying to think of like big time names. They're always curious, right? And they're asking those things. So the fact that you're asking a question, that means you're curious. The people over here in this little silver thing, this is a pencil, but it's a little silver cap here. These are the people that never ask this question and they just are, these are what you would consider the people living in the rat race. They're just, hey, I'm doing my thing. I'm going to work. I got a 401k. Uh, I'm going to take my two 15 minute breaks. I'm tired. I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to invent. I don't want to just, you know, leave me alone. I'm good. I got want to retire when I'm, you know, in, in, when I'm, you know, 55 years old or 65 years old and that's it. These are the people that never asked a question. They're right there. Over here, these are the people 
like you and me who's who asked this question if you ask this question how do i find this thing that i love how do i find my passion your way over here and what you don't realize is this little per part over here this is this is overthinking this is paralysis by analysis you're paralyzed by your thinking okay so you're way on the end of the spectrum so over here is the the spectrum where people aren't asking this question over here you're asking the question and you're paralyzed by the question and you're not doing anything you're overthinking it over here in the middle this is where you envision you see people like me you see people that that have careers you see entrepreneurs or you see someone in your family or life that's just enjoying life and and they feel like they're doing it like they're happy they're moving they're making moves they're right here in the middle and you are like thinking damn how do like do you do you love what you how did you find that you know let me know how did you find that let me know tell me what you don't realize is the people that got here didn't get here by asking that question they got here by taking action now there's three things that i want to bring i want to i want to drive home number one and i wrote these down number one is that you already know the answer to your question so the answer to your question how do how do i find this dream job how do i find this thing that i love you already know the answer to that and i'm going to explain it to you number two is the thing that I just touched on, the people in the middle, the people here that I said, these are the people that are, that live in the life. They didn't get there by asking the question, how do I, you know, like they didn't, they didn't get there by answering the question, do, am I doing the thing that I love? They got there by taking action. I'll give you an example of that too in a second. And number three is you get there by jumping into the game, taking action. I'll tell you, I'll explain to you. So number one, you already know what, you already know to answer your question. And that is people around you, you, you have something on your mind. You're like, man, I could, I could take this course or I could go to school or I could, I could work for my uncle for the next six months and save up some money and do this. Those are many different things on your mind that actually you should take you should narrow down and you should make a move on you already know things you don't want to do so for example if you had an uncle who was a plumber and he's asking you hey you come work for me you come do this thing for the next for the summer or for you know for the next six months i have a job for you and you're like i i there's no way i'm going to be doing plumbing or i'm not going to be you know doing any janitorial work or i'm not working for mcdonald's you already know what you don't want to do but there are things in your mind that you already know that's a possibility. Hey, I can go to school for the next six months. I can start down this path of, you know, earning my, 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 my associate's degree in bachelor of science, whatever it may be. I can take this course um, online. I can spend 40 bucks and, and learn this thing and learn that thing. Those are the things you already know inside you. What Those are like little hints. Those are the things you need to act on, right? Those are the things you need to act on. And that third one, people that you see in the middle that you think are living the life of their passion, their dream, you think they got there by first asking the question, what is it that thing that I love? I think that's incorrect. I'll tell you why. Because I do a lot of things right now. For example, one of the things that I find out that I love is when I record a video like this and somebody shoot me a comment and saying that they really enjoyed that a nugget from that video or they got something from it, I love that. Like I love that feeling of helping somebody. Like the person who actually left this comment on my last video said, Mike, you're really inspiring. Can you answer the question for me? How do I find the thing that like that just I mean that's that's right there. That's my that's my passion. That's what I love. I love to help people and talk and just say things and people get nuggets from that. Now, if you rewind my career when I first started YouTube or anything like that, that was nowhere in sight. For example, I have another YouTube channel, YouTube channel where I, I talk about Lakers and stuff like that. 
and I love the Lakers. I love watching sports. But in the, what I really love is when people say, Mike, I love your channel. I mean, that's just that admiration. That, people, who doesn't love admiration, right? So if there's one thing, I, I, I love admiration, but did I know it would come from making a YouTube channel? No. Did I know this, the thing that I love would come from, you know, doing, no, I had to get started. In this little spot right here, you get started down the road. I'm building websites. I realize I don't want to build websites. I want to make tutorial videos, make tutorial videos. I get comments. Oh, bing, light bulb goes off. Somebody's loving the way I teach and loving the way I speak and loving the way I explain things. I really feel something inside me when, I, when they say that. Like every single person that left me a comment, email, and anything, I feel there's something inside me like, geez, I, I love doing that. And I want to do more of that. Like who, how, whatever I did to help that person, I want to do more of that. I did not discover that by asking the question early on. I didn't, it didn't come to me. I want to help people or I want to, that came about by me taking action. It comes about by you taking action. And I'm going to close it with, the, I'm going to leave this last point. There's a guy, Franz Johansson. The Secret Truth About Executing Great Ideas. It's a talk he did for 99U in 2012. I love this talk, and he touches on this point um, perfectly. And I'm going to link to the video. It's an old video from 2012. Really good talk. If you have time, check it out. But he talks about this point about the, the secret truth about executing great ideas. He goes on and talks about anybody in this world that actually got to a certain place or any successful person got to it by taking action towards those things and there were many different pivots along the way for example if you think about mark zuckerberg and this is very true this is um, we're, this is not just us like guessing this is very true there's a video of Mike, mark zuckerberg saying i think he's being interviewed and he is very early in his his facebook career they had probably 10 employees he goes the interviewer says mark, mark zuckerberg like what do you want to do now he goes we don't have to do anything more than this. We're, we're at, we're going to reach like 5,000 colleges or 50,000 colleges or something like that. And there doesn't need to be more. He didn't have any admiration to do more. There were pivots along the way. And I'm sure now he's helping billions upon billions of people. He's probably now would tell you, oh, I love what I'm doing. But there was hundreds of different pivots along the way that adjusted. I was just looking at Elon Musk's career. When he first started off, he started with a, like a, a business directory back in 1995, zip2.com. It's a business directory, mind you, that got bought out. He earned about $22 million for that. He then started an online bank company that merged with PayPal early that got bought out by eBay, which he earned $165 million for that. Okay, that's like a six year span. So he went from a, an online business directory to an online bank and then from those funds he started SpaceX okay and then it wasn't several years later until he did you know the Teslas and the solar and now he's doing rockets and all this stuff but if you go back to his career in 1995 did he tell you I want to build rocket ships I mean would he really have had that in his mind no things come about as you're taking action Things propel you. Momentum comes about. You meet people. New ideas come and merge and you start pivoting this way and you go and you go and then you realize, oh man, I love dogs, you know, and I pivot this way and I build this little thing. For the, I'm working on this for six months. What are you doing, Mike? I'm working on this website. I'm helping dog lovers do this. And then boom, man, I realized that I actually want to do stock trading, you know, because my friend over here showed me a little bit and I invested a little bit of money and I got some, some early wins and I saw that this is awesome. I'm making 5,000 bucks from doing this and now I want to do some stock trading and then you go, right? And then along the way, you're here, you're in the middle. People are looking at you like, damn, how did he or she find the thing that they loved? And it didn't start by you just having that one idea. Nobody does. Nobody does. I guarantee you, Mark Zuck or Bill Gates and his wife, they're 
their passion and dream right now is helping saving lives. You know, curing malaria, I believe. When he started in 1975 or he built windows, was that his passion and love? Nope. Nope. So the answer to your question is to find what your passion and you, what you love, you're asking the question, you're, you're first off, you're overthinking and you're paralyzed by analyzing. You're not moving. First, get out of that. You, you will find what you love by taking action on those things you already know. My uncle's asking me to, you know, come work for him. That's a possibility. Things that you know already in your mind, that's a possibility. Take action on them. Take small action on them. Don't put a lot of resources in them. Don't put a lot of resources. Take small actions towards those things. Take small actions and keep moving. And new ideas will come up and then you pivot. New ideas will come up and you pivot. New ideas, you come up and you pivot. Meaning, don't take, don't put big resources behind it. Don't ask everybody and gather up $100,000 and start your own restaurant. That's a big move. That's really big right and <laughs> take baby steps right if that's the case that that's what you want to do that's what you want to do all right but i wouldn't advise for you to do that if you don't feel that's the thing that i love if you just want to get to where you you want to get to that passion you want to get to that thing that you love you got to take baby steps towards everything that's on your mind right now move 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 soon you'll get right there anyway hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you got a nugget too from this hopefully you kind of resonate with what I was saying. If you love the video, hit the like button. If you have a comment to what I'm saying, please leave me a comment. And as always, really appreciate sharing the video, liking the video, leaving me comments, sending me emails and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.